Hey there guys, welcome back. So I'm just cruising all along and this is video number three. Just trying to keep you guys updated just to drop the energy and just going with the flow with the messages that's coming to me here as I shuffle my cards and go through things. I'm just getting the messages from the divine that I'm to drop for you. So welcome back to another video. I'm Pat, the Queen of Wands. All right, I hope you guys are getting some sleep or just ready to have a great weekend. Happy Friday, okay? So let's get started, and thanks for everything you guys do for the channel, all right? I truly appreciate it, all right? So some energy that I got here is that um, this person is trying to block you out of their thinking, their life, their heart, so they can move on with this karmic energy. They're trying to block you out. They don't want to think about you. It's like they know they can't have you. A lot of you guys, thank you, Holy Spirit. They know they can't have you, okay? So they could have walked away and they're trying to, but however, when they walked away, they can't forget you. They can't stop thinking about you. They're stuck in nostalgia energy over you. They're trying to compare their karmic energy to you. So they're having a hard time releasing you out of their mind. So they're definitely working on it. Okay. Yes. The next is, yeah, Divine said this person is very confused. They're very confused. And they miss talking to you. Okay? And this is, but they're all they do is waste your damn time. Alright? That's what Divine is saying. All they do is waste your damn time. You have useless, dumbass conversations with this person. Okay? But however, the karmic energy, she said, I won, bitch. She said, I won, bitch. Alright? So she feel like she won. You know, all her spell work and everything, she feel like she won your masculine. All right? For those of you who are still on this journey and for those of you who still give a fuck. So only take what resonates with you. Okay? But she said, I won. But however, this masculine just continues to go back and forth. Back and forth. And it's just not, even if you're not in this connection, they just go back and forth between multiple lovers. All right, and device that they don't even use protection. Someone could have contracted an STD. All right, somebody's very secretive, very secretive. All right, about their sexual addiction. It's real strong. It's real heavy. It's promiscuous energy. It's real dark. Someone could have some serious fetishes. They could go in dark places to feed their temptation. Okay. Um, device said you need to smudge, you need to sage, all right? And you guys know you can get that shit from me. But you definitely need to sage and you need to smudge, okay? And the next energy I got is because you guys or someone is dealing with a hot mess bitch, okay? This is someone who always got problems, always whining, and um, always feel like shit ain't good enough, always calling somebody with shit, a gossipy person. Who always spreading shit, starting shit. All right. Somebody could be avoiding that person. Okay. But someone feel like um, you're their bait forever. Okay. So somebody's stuck in a fantasy and seduction. So I brought my fantasy deck out. Okay. It's called erotica. All right. A lot of my shit, you know, is with Fire Witch Tarot. Okay. Give her some love and shout too. Because she got an awesome new deck out too. And it's called What's the News. All right. So, Holy Spirit, what is the energies that we need to know for this? So, the karmic said, I won, bitch. All right. We're going to clarify that. And let's see what she feel like she won. And, um, you know, let's get off into the energies. Holy Spirit, what did she win? All right. Um, Divine said, being secondary in somebody's life. Okay, being secondary in somebody's life and being misguided. All right, somebody also could be getting watched. Somebody could live in a wooded area. So just be careful there. But um, Divine said you want to be in secondary in somebody's life. All right, and also she could be happy that maybe you're secondary in the masculine's life. All right, what did she win, Holy Spirit? What did she win? All right, dang. 
Divine said, you want some pain, baby. All right? Somebody's watching you, too. Somebody is watching somebody. Somebody is under heavy investigation. All right? It could be the FBI. All right? But somebody's also um, causing pain on you. So Divine said, you want some pain. Or you got some pain coming to you. Somebody's definitely watching here. It could be an investigator. Yeah, you might find out something shocking. Somebody could be under investigation, and you might find out something shocking that somebody did. All right? Also, it could be some witchery going on in the woods here. Somebody might find out they're dealing with a real-life witch. All right? And I just feel like the, the thing froze up on that, on that message there. All right? It just froze for a second there. Yeah, somebody's really desperate. All right? Really desperate here. I guess divine is saying maybe you're desperate in this situation. Or you could be looking desperate. This person could have a bad reputation. All right? This masculine energy. They're very elusive. They're in and out. Inconsistent. Back and forth. All right? Somebody could be playing cards. Somebody could be a gambler here. Yeah, very secretive. Just don't tell anybody anything, all right? This could be how your relationship is, or this is how the masculine energy is towards you because you think you won, but you don't even know this person that you won. And that's what Divine is saying. You don't know this person, all right? You could have won someone who's ruthless. This could be the masculine or the karmic energy. Somebody wants someone who's ruthless, all right? Somebody who don't take action, all right? Somebody's unmotivated. They don't do anything. All right, because they're too busy being envious and hateful, wishing demise upon other people. Okay, and that you're a coward. All right, so this is what the masculine one, and this is what the karmic one. All right, this current, this cowardly ass energy. All right, envious, hatefulness. This is what's been won here. All right, and divine said it's a warning. You watch yourself now. Somebody could be trying to plot. And set up somebody. Alright. Somebody trying to set somebody up. In a dark place. At night. Down the street. Down an alley. A secluded area. A walkway. So just be careful. Yeah. Look at this. Alright. Somebody's being fake. And superficial. Hiding. Someone could be wearing a mask. A hoodie. Covered up. Watching you. Wherever you go. Alright. Because they asphyxiate it. They fixated upon you. They're definitely wishing the worst. Voodoo energy. Spell work energy. Somebody want to take you out here. All right. But Divine said you're going to escape this energy. Just like someone could have escaped this person. The masculine could have escaped this energy. All right. So, yes, because it was nothing but lust and seduction. Just lust and seduction. So that's what somebody won. And this whole relationship was won through spell work, voodooism, and lust and seduction. That's what how this was won. Okay? Holy Spirit, why is this a confused man? All right, we're going to go into some more energies. This person is confused because the vine said they keep going back and forth. We're going to use this third, the third party love triangle deck. All right, and they stay in a situation because they have kids with this person, but they keep going back and forth. They don't really know what they want. They definitely could have multiple lovers. All right, why is this a confused person? Divine said they got this. It's divine intervention is here because someone is a ladies man. Someone is a ladies man. That's why they keep going back and forth. They might call themselves being in a relationship. But they're definitely a ladies' man. Someone could even be an escort. Someone could be a bisexual escort. Okay? But someone is not serious about anyone. Someone is not ready for a commitment. All right? And someone is, it's all about a transaction. That's why I said somebody could be an escort. They get paid for their time and service. They get paid for being a ladies' man. They get paid for that. And divine intervention is here. And this will come out, okay, on this confused ladies' man. Holy Spirit, why is this person so confused? All right, because they have a crush on you. 
but yet they like being a ladies' man. They confused. They secretly admire you, but they're not ready to act on a relationship. Okay, the next energy is yes. They'd rather sit back and fool both of you all. All right, only take what resonates with you. If you're with your masculine, it could be you and someone else. If you're not, it's two different karmics that they're fooling, that they're playing a mind fuckery game with. This is what they do. So one karmic thinks she won, but she haven't really won because the other karmic is still in the picture. All right? Yeah, someone's, you know, they stand in a comfort zone. They stand with someone, but I feel like it's a double life energy. It could be two baby mamas here. They could have a commitment with both. All right? Why are they so confused? Why are they so confused? All right? Because they keep ghosting in and out. They keep ghosting maybe both of these two baby mamas. If they with you, Divine Family, they ghosting you. They just running in and out of people's life. No consistent communication. No stability. Yup. They just stringing you along. They stringing all of y'all along. Everybody. This is a ladies man. They have no true intentions on committing to everybody. Even though they make you feel like they are. That's what they do. That's what a ladies man is. Okay, and this is the inquirer. It's always that one who got more control over all of the other ladies. So this person, you know, she dominates the situation. Okay, and this person is their number one. Okay, so they do have another, a number one. Okay, and this is, the, but they longing for you. They really miss you. And this person is suffering in silence. And it's due to their lifestyle, their choices and decisions. They're really longing for you. They really miss you. But everything is a transaction with them. All right? Somebody could be in survival mode. All right? They're definitely trying to block you out. All right? Why are they trying to block Divine Femme out, Holy Spirit? Why are they blocking her out? All right? And this is, yeah, because they know it's time to walk away. They know that what you guys have is dead. It's over. It's time to end this triangle. All right? Nobody has a peace of mind. Everybody got their hearts hurt. And it's by their doing. They're being stuck. Trying to have multiple lovers. Multiple hearts. But not really giving anybody anything. So they're choosing to finally walk away. Divine fam. All right? And they're choosing to stay with someone who continues to manipulate their mind. Just keep them blinded. Manipulate them. This is the industry that they love. It could be a comfort zone. It could be a financial status. All right. Why are they walking away from the divine family? Holy Spirit. All right. What's the third party energy of why? Holy Spirit. And this is because you work on yourself. You found your self-love. You set boundaries. And they can't deal with that. They can't deal with your boundaries. Your self-respect. They can't deal with that. All right, everybody's gonna win. They stuck in a party life. They stay over there, listen to their friends, their foes, their lovers, and you found your self care, your self love, your worth, and your value. And you guys separate, and you guys move on with your lives. Okay, yep. Because it's too many fights, it's disagreements, it's a lack of trust. You guys are not on the same page, and you don't communicate the same. All right, Holy Spirit, give us the other energies here of why you, okay, yeah, and this person have sneaky behavior, they're a liar, they always with someone else, but they could be acting like they're talking to you, giving you some time, you might just talk to this person mostly in text messages that they run behind and delete, they probably don't even pick up the phone and call you, this person is sneaky, they could be talking to you while they're with someone else. Okay? They regret how they treated you. They regret everything about how this worked out. They got a lot of remorse here. But they never changed anything. They had the opportunity to fix this a long time ago. So they'll just live with their regrets and their loss of you. And they'll stay stuck in their karmic situations with the rival. All right? This is what they chose, the rival, the karmic. 
over you. Okay? Divine intervention is here. Okay? Because this person is just a ladies' man. But like they said, they got that one main chick. All right? This person does use you for whatever they want. Nights out. Fun. Sex. But they'll sell you out in a minute to get another one. Or for a new side piece. Or for somebody else. But then they'll come back to you. Okay? So you're almost there. You're moving in another direction. You chose a new route here. All right? Answers are close. Don't give up. A new beginning is close. All right? Because they stay stuck with their succubus energy. All right? And they stay stuck in lust, destructive behavior. They're playing with fire. All right? They could also be in a relationship, but they still mixing, mixing with some uh, vixen type of energy. The succubus energy. They could still be having sex with this person. All right? So this person definitely have multiple options and multiple choices. All right? So you're definitely being guided to go your own way. All right? These karmics have seduced your person. All right? So divine intervention is here. All right? So... What's the messages here? Okay. That's slow and steady. Where's the race? All right. So you just keep working on yourself. Someone is definitely like slow motion. They just feel like they got a lot of time in the world to make it up to you. Like you're always going to be here. All right. They trying to take it slow with these karmics too. All right. Because they just promise the world, but they're definitely non-committal. They're not going to commit to anybody. Not the comics or anybody. They just playing Russian roulette. All right. Somebody's definitely not using condoms. It's all about flings with the karmic energy. So why would they give it up? All right. The comics finally in deep thought. Some of these comics are finally waking up to the fact that they're just getting played. That they're just a side piece. That they're just a booty call. They're in deep thought about this. They're trying to think about their options too. All right. But they even know that they have rivals. The karmic just have, they have rivals. They have multiple different lovers. It's like this person is just dealing with a string of broken hearts. All right? And this masculine energy just used these karmics for show-off status. If they look good, if their body look good, you know, for arrogance, for vainness, for ego. That's why they just be with these karmics. They're taking them all over town, flaunting, taking pictures. But it's all because of their own seductions and temptations. None of these relationships grow into anything. All right? The next energy is, yeah, they just being a sucker. All of the karmics are just being a sucker. Does the masculine end up being a sucker and getting played? Spending money on these karmics? It's all like a toxic, fake, repetitive cycle of bullshit everybody's trying to one-up each other you know a lot of the karmics dating other people the masculine dating other people they good with that energy all right and it's just a trap they just get caught up in a trap like a little mouse looking for cheese they just get caught up in a trap with the karmics they always fall for it and then they get caught up and let the karmics do all type of spell work sexual entity ties you know, bloodline work. <coughs> All right, so that's true. Holy Spirit, what's the energies? Yeah, careless and responsible. This is what they choose over you. And as you see, this is like red blood, red energy coming out of her mouth. All right, it's just like spell work. It's all a trap. All right, this person is very thoughtless and irresponsible. There's no real love here. This is what they do to women's feelings. They're very thoughtless and they're irresponsible to people's feelings. This player, all right? And it's just a lack of immaturity here. I mean, it's immaturity. It's not a lack of it, but it's a lack of maturity, okay? And it's a lack of maturity on both parts. And it's um, definitely on the type of people they date. They date the same energy type of people like they are, immature. 
look young minded. Just think immaturely. Okay. And also the energy about your car. All right. Your car. Um, someone definitely was messing with your car. All right. This could have been past energy if you had car problems. All right. And if your car, if you have car problems stopping your car, if you have leaking in your car. All right. So watch over your car. Divine seeing it all. And they hunting somebody about their car and somebody who fucked with your car. They're starting to have the worst problems with transportation. And divine want you to know that something is going to be wrong with your car because you're going to own up to what you did to someone else's car. Okay, the next energy right here is learning. Someone's going to learn. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody's going to learn lessons. Somebody needs to develop mentally. Somebody's very immature. All right, it's all a matter of time. Everything is going to be coming out in divine timing here because things are spiraling out of control. Someone's taking shit too far. All right. The next energy is, and you guys are over it. You're moving on with your life, but somebody's still trying to keep you, tr trying to do harm to you, and you have walked away. If you say you won, okay, divine said, act like it. 